Welcome to Lost Boys Gaming. So listen up, my fellow gamers. There may or may not be a million dollar giveaway at the end of this video, but you'll have to watch till the end to find out. Liar. You can't say that. Why not? It says clearly in the terms of service. Well, I have the terms of service right here. I got from a search on Yahoo Korea. You are such a retard. You can't say that. Say what? Retard. It's pronounced retard. Okay. Sorry for the interruption. Oh, wait. Go back. Okay. Pause that. All right. So if we look in my inventory on the left, we have two items, salt and berries, and they both have a countdown timer of 28 minutes. Remember that number. It's going to be important later. Okay. Let's continue. So what we're doing today is showing a method of keeping Wyvern milk spoil free forever. And that timer is important because whatever is in your inventory, when that timer reaches zero, you will be able to transfer out with. That is the most simple explanation I can give. It doesn't matter how long stuff has been in your inventory, just as long as it's in your inventory before that timer runs out. I'm doing this demonstration on Scorched Earth because it has the highest spoil times of any of the maps. If you can do it on Scorched Earth, you can do it anywhere. I'm using my preferred method on raising wyverns, which is killing alphas, which will yield 50 wyvern milk. You can kill alphas fairly easily if you have a fire wyvern of your own because you do not take damage from their fire breath but they also do not take damage from yours. So the method here is to land somewhere and just continue biting. This is done much easier inside a trap because they can't get away. I'm gonna fast forward through the fight here a little bit, but you can see in the top right corner there, I don't have an imprint on this fire wyvern I'm using. So it's definitely possible to fight them without an imprinted wyvern. However, um, if you have an imprinted one, it's definitely advisable to do so. So he's getting kind of bloody here. And you can see that was a level 105 on a non-imprinted wyvern. And it didn't do too much damage. So about 4,000 health. So if I bring up the table here for the spoil times with Wyvern Milk, you can see on Scorched Earth in that top row, it only lasts for 18 minutes in your player's inventory and that's with salt. Now if we move it to our dino's inventory, it lasts an hour and 12 minutes, so quite a bit of difference. So this is where that transfer timer becomes crucial that we pointed out earlier, the 28 minutes. Off to the side, I know there's about 20 minutes left because I started my own timer. Now we know based on those spoil times, that's too soon to have it in my player's inventory. So I'm going to leave it on my wyvern for now. Let's go a little bit ahead in time where we're back at the obelisk. Knowing there's about two minutes left, I'm going to transfer the milk into my inventory with the salt and head for the transfer. I like to get the salt and the milk in my player's inventory when there's about two to five minutes left, just to play it safe. If it's in your inventory too soon, the milk spoils. If you wait too long, then you don't get a chance to transfer with the milk out. So as soon as that yellow transfer timer goes away, it's time to transfer out. Another thing to keep in mind here is it really doesn't matter which map you pick because we won't actually be spawning into the map what we're going to do is exit to the main menu. So once we get to the spawn map, we don't want to spawn. We just hit escape and then go to the main menu. Anything that has a spoil timer, and this includes mutton, eggs, etc. will have an infinite spoil time inside the arc. It's also important to note that anything on your inventory, anything you're wearing will expire after 24 hours. So you do need to download 
the character before that 24 hours expires. So in this scenario, let's just assume that we're raising some wyverns and enough time has passed and it's time for imprinting or feeding. Now we're gonna download that character who's been up in the arc. And you can see here that we have a fresh inventory full of milk with 100% spoil time. Now the method I use that seems to work the best is to have two characters. You have your main character who's doing the imprinting on the wyverns and you have your alt character who is responsible for holding the milk up in the arc. When the time comes for feeding and imprinting, just download your alternate character, drop off the milk and upload them back up into the arc. Rinse and repeat. Lost Boys Gaming, shut up and game.